guys, what is going on? Blossoms back and welcome back to the episode of Top Drives. I am so freaking excited because they did it. They actually did it. They gone and done it. They did the clubs. They did a club. They did a thing. They did a thing. Tell everybody they did a thing. They did the clubs. They did the clubs and they did the clubs and the multiplayer. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. This event right here is my freaking pride and joy. Seriously. This is like the most fun I've had in an event in like 10 years, man. Wet weather, standard rules apply. Bro, this literally is clubs. It's front wheel drive. It's standard. And they literally just copy pasted the freaking uh, twisty road uh, track set from clubs. The twisty road where everything is in the rain. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. I freaking love it. You know, all that hard work that I put into clubs. Finally. People can see it, the normies can see it, okay? The normies isn't like the people that decide not to play clubs, you know? Like, I'm, and I don't want to mean like normies in a bad way. I, I feel like you are more mentally sane if you do refrain from playing clubs. I am more mentally not sane. So, you know, I do tend to play clubs a crazy amount more. But yes, yes, they did it, they did it because you know why? You know why? Because who the hell in the right mind has multiple upgraded Acura TLXs? You only have multiple upgraded Acura TLXs if you play clubs and your boy is undefeated for that single purpose. I love it, 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 I love it. This is a Cadillac ELR event as well. How many ELRs do we have in the top? We've got two here, we've got two there, we've got three there. Oh, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal day to be alive. The man is a like, god, please, more of this. I mean, not everyone's gonna enjoy it, but I'm gonna freaking love the hell out of this, man. Like, honestly, enough of those bullshit events where sometimes you get an off-road track set, sometimes you get an on-road track set, you don't know what is what. Oh, this is phenomenal. They did the clubs, they did the clubs, and they did it, they did it in multiplayer, man. Like, this is great. What's next? What's next? You know what's another one that they could adapt over? Um... Maybe like anything front wheel drive, honestly, is, is pretty synonymous with clubs, isn't it? This this is drag spec. This is a drag spec ELR. Oh god. Yeah, man's got four of them. I don't know when you will ever need to use a drag spec ELR, seriously. But anyway, we got that, 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 and that. And I see myself a 150 and a zero. I can predict every single one, man. Your boy has played so much clubs, he knows the outcomes of every single race. Oh well. <laughs> 200, you know why? I think I know why. I think one of his ELRs were 233, but I didn't notice that one of the ELRs were 233. I just kind of assumed that one of his ELRs, are, all of the ELRs were 323, besides the 332, because obviously if it's 233, then the, the top speed will be different, but I don't look at the top speed usually when I want to check tunes. I usually just see zero to 60 and I see uh, um, handling, especially handling is the biggest change. Oh, it's great, it's great. I'm just so happy that they did the thing. They did the thing, they did the thing. Oh no, this is great, this is fantastic. Absolutely freaking wild. Love this. I don't believe that that car wins the G-Force. So what we'll have to go for is the 50-50 draw. Because yeah, obviously the uh, the Acura RSX is gonna win G-Force, right? So yeah, we'll get that done and dusted and it should be a 50-50. So we can draw, that is completely fine. I just wanna maintain that undefeated record. All right, we're gonna go into the next one over here. Let's see what the next track is gonna be. I believe this is the, ooh, okay, well that wins. That definitely wins. Okay, I know for a fact that the Acura TLX wins, is the best car for hairpin, so we'll put you there. I'll uh, put you for Twisty Circuit, we'll put you on G-Force, Carding Circuit, and Twisty Road, and that should be 50 to zero to me. Oh man, that was, uh, yeah, I was I was looking at the handling on those two numbers, and I was like, wait, hold on, it's 85 to 84, you know, those are really fine margins, but yeah, all right, 16 to zero. There you go, let us go on one more race to go. We're going four and one and oh, I don't usually say that, but we do have a draw in there. Uh, we got our boy with three ELRs again. Let's go straight for it, honestly. So, uh, Twisty Road and Carding Circuit, that's what you're gonna put it on. Hairpin Road and Twisty Circuit, and then you got Slalom, and that should be... If I, if I, if, if he's, if his ELRs are 323, then it should be 100 and zero, I believe. Uh, skip match, and there you go. Sweet. I'm just so freaking happy that they actually did a clubs. They did a clubs. Well, well, okay, so, besides front wheel drive, what else I think would be really fun for them to add? would be like, what's what's synonymous with clubs? Like, just like ultra air times five, put in like a desert sands kind of track set or something, you know? Or like a, oh, what's the, what's the really funny club requirement? It's like German cars times three, German renaissance times three or something like that. I mean, at that point, why is German cars times three even in there? Just, just call it German renaissance times three, you know what I mean? We got a carbon fiber to happen as well, so we're gonna go into uh, challenge leagues. I do feel like I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood today. You know, I had a good class. 
Um, I, I ran a 5k, you know, that went well. Like it's 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 been nice so far, which is nice. Um, but I'm 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 opt I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic with this carbon fiber. I might go open another one as well, seeing how this one goes. Oh, and then I need to talk about the finals that ended as well. Uh, if I won the prize car or not, but we have a carbon fiber. Let's get into the current matters. We start off with a Ford Escort, a Citroen BX, a Nissan Primera, a Nissan 300 ZX, and ooh. The race car, Caterham 7420. That is some pretty nice fuse material, if you ask me. Let's look at the um, offers in the store. Is there anything worth buying? There's a triple tidal wave. What What is this? There, there are no boosted odds in here. It's just a three times carbon fiber. Yeah, nah. I mean, that's the same price as the titanium pack, right? That came out in the final. Why would you want that? There's a pretty interesting ones, though. There's this 5 plus 5 equals 10K. I mean, it, okay, so it's a... It's a regular carbon fiber, not even, it's not even a regular carbon, it's a five-seater carbon fiber for a regular carbon fiber price with five slots and 10,000 cash. That, that is unique indeed. Yeah, there's some really unique, oh, my favorite, it's my favorite, it's my favorite one. I love this, I love this, it's the 40K. Look, man, yeah, 40K takes you about 30 minutes to make sometimes in clubs, all right? If I can, if I can buy deals that just give, saves me a little bit of time, sure, dude, I'll, I'll get it. Um, I don't mind buying cash with gold, but I'm not gonna buy cash with real money. I, I know that's a little bit contradictory, but like you can earn the gold for free anyway so yeah no i had to open that i had to whenever i see that forty thousand cash your boy gobbles it up dude um there's a low ground clearance carbon fiber i mean this one doesn't look too bad it's discounted and you know it takes away all the random crap actually honestly this one isn't too bad at all um yeah kind of kind of tempting to be honest we've got all those year of the dragon stuff coming out soon like year of the dragon packs are, are literally coming out in like 12 hours Let's have a look at Year of the Dragon so far. How, how am I doing? How am I doing with Year of the Dragon? You saw that I was currently working on that rare because that car is indeed Year of the Dragon. We're gonna start off with uh, rares over here. Is there anything that I actually need? No, the answer is no. I actually have everything besides the TBR Griffith. Okay, cool. So I, I don't think I'll be in a position where I need to open the Year of the Dragon pack then because yeah, the TBR Griffith is the only car I'm missing. I got duplicates of some of these cars. I think I believe I have duplicates of the V Advantage. I, I, I should have duplicates of that. Definitely have duplicates of the Charger Super B. Um, yeah, let's, let's go to my cars real quick. Let's have a double check. So I got 626 Mazda. Yeah, two of those fully upgraded. I got, yeah, two of the Chargers, two of the RGTs. Uh, Aston. Oh, only one. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go on to Super Rares. I'll uh, go into my cars. No, th these are my cars. Let's go into all cars. What am I missing over here? Okay, just a Land Rover Freelander and a Volvo V70. I got everything else. And I believe that I have everything else fully upgraded besides the Volvo S60, I believe. No, actually, no, I did upgrade it already. So I, I, I was preparing for it by the time the tag came out. So since the tag came out, I upgraded a few cars. I upgraded the BMW 520D. I upgraded the Bizzarini 5300 GT, which I have a 323, by the way, because I think it's like a decent fast circuit car, and that's about it. Um, Volvo S60 T5 is another car that I upgraded. And yeah, I think everything else I had upgraded before the tag was even released. Uh, rares, only eight, that's not a lot. I'm currently working on the Citroen Axiva 1. And we go into all cars. Okay, so for rares, I am missing a decent amount. Like, I think I'm missing enough where I will be stuck in a challenge here or there. Uh, yeah, I think one car I'll definitely probably need to get is the DS5 because it's your one of your best, no, it is your best. It's your best handling standard tire car with 75. Uh, you might be able to make do with the Citroen Activa. It's, it's you know, pretty close, 85827574. And yeah, I know, right? It's pretty close, 3731. The only thing separating these two cars, I mean, besides, you know, very small stat changes, 0 0.3 and 1 handling, is that, you know, medium ground clearance versus low ground clearance, because this is low ground clearance. So yeah, that's why I always say that medium ground clearance cars has like medium ground clearance tax, basically, because the stats in the DS5 maybe closely resembles maybe an RQ33. Um, but because it's medium ground clearance, it gets a plus four, which I think is just way too generous to, to judge a card that way. So yeah, missing a couple of rares. Mazda 626, a card that I've unpacked so many times and I've used away so many times. I think with the Delta, because I think I'm pretty sure that used to be an uncommon. Moving on to uncommons though, okay. The uh, Volvo 440, I'm, I'm, I'll keep on the lookout for this car. I mean, it's got a wonderful photo, so I'll upgrade it for that cause. Also, Will Cutlass, I'll look out for that too. Chevrolet Impala, sure, I'm not touching that Skoda. I've unpacked it so many times, I'm just gonna ignore it, honestly. Commons, yeah. I mean, your boy's always lacking in the common department, and he probably always will. I don't give a shit about these cars. 
Um, maybe some cards that I could probably collect would be the Mazda Cosmo and the Lancia Flamina, so I'll probably keep an eye out for those. Which also reminds me that I need to get rid of my current wish list because my current wish lists are cars that I actually want. Um, so we probably should take that away. Yeah, I only have five. So yeah, that's gonna be an issue. I need to get more comments of that tag. I mean, when when do I not need more comments of a special tag? I, I have no comments and I, I, prefer it, I prefer for it to stay that way. Year of the Dragon Epics up next. I mean, oh, that's not Year of the Dragon. I don't think there are 418 cars in Year of the Dragon. Uh, nine. Uh, so I got a few. Um, yeah, I got the Camaros, mostly the 2012 stuff, right? Yeah, literally only the 2012 stuff. Uh, going through all cars, so I have most of the high-end stuff. I would love to get an SLS AMG. Now would be the time to get that, especially from those free carbon, well, quote unquote, free carbon fibers that you will get in the challenge. If any of the levels are forcing you to collect any of the 65s, I'm not going to, I'm not going to oblige, seriously. Like, I'm not going to oblige collecting any of this. I already have a fully upgraded ZL1, and that should be enough for my low RQ representation. Uh, if you want to even have the RS4, two cars that I fully upgraded for Tri-Series purposes. So, it's nice to say that they might end up being useful in this challenge as well. So, yeah, you have the Dragons is coming up, but, uh, yeah, like I said, I think we were looking through all those cars because I don't think I need to open any of those packs. Let's go for the low ground clearance one. This, this is a pretty good deal. I believe it's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's it's just 100 RQ, 100 gold cheaper than your regular carbon fiber, and 200 gold cheaper than your special carbon fiber. Gonna have Porsche 968 Club Sport, and the good news is the odds of getting a Skoda is, I'm pretty sure, almost zero. So, let's go! We've got a... Oh! We're done! What are the odds? Okay, yeah. I'm not even mad. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, sure, let's let's add that real quick. I need to sell a little bit of rares over here. One, two, th three. Uh, you gonna sell, buddy? Okay, yes, okay, good. I, I didn't know if I need to reset the hand or not. Three and four. 15 is left because I'm currently upgrading some stuff. We'll sell the commons as well. Yeah, dude, what are the odds? You get the TVI Griffin. I'll go fully upgrade that and we've got every single uh, rare. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Algeria from uh, Year of the Dragon, so that's that's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Why are the loading times taking so long all of a sudden? Yeah, Year of the Dragon, there you go. And great exhibition as well. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. I don't think I, I needed needed that, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. Sure. Super Airs, we'll add in the Porsche, and we'll also add in the Nissan 300, which used to be an RQ49 and is now in a 46. That's crazy to think about. Um, another event that we can join off just to, to wrap up the video over here is time to hit the track. It's a JPT event, which is really nice to see. Um, I just like anything that's like before World Expo. Not to say that I don't like World Expo. I just feel like the other stuff that came before World Expo um, just isn't loved enough, you know? So, fast circuit, fast circuit, uh, fast circuit, twisty circuit, twisty circuit, there you go, sure. It's a pretty interesting event. It, it literally is just clubs for circuit breaker. I mean, I get why it's called time to hit the track because I'm pretty sure every single track set in here are just your regular track sets. Like your regular track track sets, like your fast circuits, your twisty circuits, your test bowls and your slaloms, like things that you would see on the top drives track. Um, I mean, the Tom Drive's track, I feel like, has become synonymous with the game anyway, so that's pretty cool. Basically, none of the Tokyo crap, uh, none of the, what is it, like the lumber mill crap and stuff. Like, it's nice. This is like, this This makes it, this makes it feel like it's OG Tom Drive's all over again, you know? Like, uh, no super confusing, super long track sets, which I don't mind personally, but it's just nice to... This is Tom Drive's heritage. Uh, I'll, I'll put it at that. This is Tom Drive's heritage, and I do enjoy it. Um, twisty Circuit and Twisty Circuit. I'll lose those two races, but I don't think it's much of a, an issue because I, I do win the fast circuits and I win the slalom as well. Uh, this should be by maybe slightly 50 points, more than 50 points, 86 points. I would say that's a little bit more than slightly more. Wow, we won every single race. The Suzuki Ignis won as well, which is quite surprising. Um, I'll, I'll take that Dodge Coronet. That's a really good common for Ocean City Streets. If you watched the video, you would know it's the best uncommon in the entire game for Ocean City Streets. All right, next up. We have the Ignis that definitely is going to beat the Nissan 370Z on the twisty circuit. We've got karting circuit, slalom, indoor karting, and yeah, fast circuit and indoor karting. There you go. I think uh, there's like one track set with three fast circuits. I'm pretty sure that was the first track that we got. 
Yeah, Ignis, man. Honestly, just run the Ignis over the Nissan if you can. That thing is so, so, so good. It, it genuinely has RQ57 performance and it has medium ground clearance. So the Ignis, in my opinion, is one of those few cars where I think it's actually underrated. One of the few medium ground clearance cars that I think is underrated. I think that it has the on-paper stats of a 57 uh, because it has like really good MRI and it's really light and all that kind of stuff too, but it's also medium. I would think medium would be a plus one or plus two in RQ. When it was 59 RQ, I had no issues of it being there. I don't know why it went down, honestly. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, no, this, I thought this was th the three fast circuits. It's two fast circuits. So put you there, there, and there. Um, honestly, the Infiniti Emerge has been one of the most useful cars from JPT. The thing is, right, I barely used the Nissan Bluebird Atessa, the, the, the epic four-wheel drive off-road JPT car. It's a wonderful, wonderful car. But the reality of playing this game is that no matter what happens, Hutch is going to favor the performance tire cars. Hodge is going to perform, uh, favor the performance tire rear wheel drive cars or the performance tire or, or the slick tire rear wheel drive cars. Like those are the cars that get the most attention. Uh, that's that's end of story. Um, yes, there are events out there geared towards off-road tire cars or or all, all surface tire cars. They're not a lot for all surface tire cars, all things considered. Um, but it, they they don't they don't compare. They do not compare to the events that cater towards rear wheel drive slick or performance low ground clearance stuff you know what i mean so there you go 337 to zero fantastic there you go five and oh but anyway guys that's gonna be it for today fantastic little carbon fibers here and there i'm so happy that they turned clubs into a multiplayer event that is fantastic more of this i mean i would call for more of this i don't think a lot of people might like it but like i genuinely love it uh, it's it's great anyway oh yeah uh before i i close out the thing i uh yeah mazda mazda tri-series uh here you go as you can see, I did not win the Mazda prize car because I searched at Mazda and Mazda's not there. I ended up getting, I think, placed like 60 or something. Um, it's funny because I actually ended the event like place 22. Well, uh, to be fair, I was asleep when the event ended, but like the last time I saw my position before I saw it was 22. Um, but even if I didn't move and I stayed in 22, I wouldn't have gotten 22nd place because I did not do enough races. I did not care about the, fi the final at all. Whatever it is. It is what it is. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe. Wash your hands and bless them out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jukebox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jukebox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girl